I'm really enjoying my new homemade brake pressure bleeder. In fact, I'm having so much fun with this that I'm trying to change the brake fluid in every Mercedes Benz I can find, every one in sight. So I rolled this one in uh, to do a brake fluid flush on it, but I stopped and said, you know, I really need to come up with something else, particularly when you're, you know, getting the fluid out of each wheel. Look what I've used in the past. I've used these small uh, bleeder cups, even these little magnetic ones, and sometimes I resort to a, a hose in a jar. But <laughs> this is messy, it's dirty, and it's not efficient and fast. So I said about, okay, what do I need to really capture that old fluid coming out of each one of the brake calipers? And there were two criteria for me. Number one, I needed to see when the fluid started to run clear. And number two, I needed enough capacity so that I didn't have to stop after every wheel and pour the brake fluid out into some bottle and risk the chance of, you know, kicking it over. I wanted a container that would do a complete brake flush on all four wheels. Let me show you what I came up with. I pumped the bleeder up to about 10 PSI max. Uh, don't go over that when doing these old cars. And note, I've, I've added a pan underneath to catch any drips that might come out of the fitting. And now look at this bottle. This is called my twin chamber brake fluid capture bottle. It has a very small pre-chamber right here and out of the top of that pre-chamber, you'll see this pipe tube that comes down and goes into the bottom of the bottle right here. This is one liter in size. I've already begun the bleeding process to just save time in this video. And you can see that I've got quite a bit of dirtier fluid right down here in the bottle. Uh, let me open up the fitting now. Note that I always remove this cap here to keep from pressurizing this capture bottle when I'm bleeding. And I'm only going to open this up about a half a turn. And you can see the fluid coming in the little pre-chamber here. Uh, note it's already clean because the dirty fluid is already routed out and down into the bottom. So this accomplishes that objective of being able to see when I've got clean fluid coming out of the brake caliper. And being one liter in size, it's big enough that I can do all four wheels. I always do a little bit more of flush on the first wheel because you're going to be getting a lot of that crud out of the brake master cylinder reservoir. So I'll go ahead and uh, close this one off. Uh, this one's done. You can see once again the difference here between this clean brake fluid and the old dirty fluid down here. Isn't that amazing? And I'll move on to the next wheels and complete the brake fluid flush. With these two products I can actually do a complete brake fluid flush in half the time it took using some of the, the old products I used to use. I'm very proud of these. We fabricate these as kits in our own shop here in Bellingham. Uh, the pressure bleeder is sold as a kit. You will have to buy your own pump, but I provide all the parts you'll need to convert it to a pressure brake bleeder. This will come ready to use from our website. So if you're interested in any of these products, just go to my website and you can just put brake bleeding in the search box and it'll take you right to them.